Manhunt for the PlayStation 2, created by Rockstar Games, who is notorious for making great games such as Grand Theft Auto 3 for the PS2 as well. The game. Man, man this video is terrible. Who made this shit? Oh wait, I did. Yeah, I did. Five years ago, just a few months after I made this account, I went off on a rant about the censorship of Manhunt 2. I had read that the game was given the AO, or Adult Only, rating, and that in order for the game to be released with an M rating, it would have to be censored. This enraged me, and the only way I saw fit at the time to release my anger was to make a video complaining about it, and that's what I did. To this day, this video is my most popular video, with over 70,000 views and the highest rated as well. I also know that lots of people also favorited the video. I don't know why you'd ever favorite the video, but people did, and lots of them. My video got so popular, that if you search Manhunt 2 Censored on YouTube, my video was the very first one on the list. For a while now, at least a year, I've been wanting to make a follow-up video explaining why I made this video and my memories of the game Manhunt and my thoughts on the series in general. The main reason it's taken this long for the video to be made is lack of time and, I won't lie, some laziness on my behalf. Well, I've finally gotten off my ass and made the video, so I hope you stick around and check it out. This is my Manhunt memories. They're after you. You're the prey in a deadly game. I will admit that it may be considered weird to call them memories. I mean, after all, the game was released in the US in November of 2003. It's just about 10 years since I played the game. Still, I'm just gonna call them memories. I don't even remember how I heard about the game. About a week or so before it was released, my brother and I were watching TV when a commercial for the game came on. I had already known about the game by this time, though I didn't know a whole lot about it. When the commercial ended, I expressed my interest in getting the game. I was in my mid to late teens at this time, but my brother wasn't quite a teenager yet. He said that he thought it looked scary, and I kind of agreed with him. The commercial did make the game look a bit scary. You are taken down. Manhunt by Rockstar Games. Rated M for Mature. Out now on PlayStation 2. When I brought the game home, my brother said that he watched me because he didn't want to play it himself. It was instantly a hit with me. I loved it. I've always been a fan of the stealth and horror genres, so to have both genres combined into one game was a real treat for me, though Manhunt is more psychological horror. Still, it was awesome. The story is that the character you control, James Earl Cash, was sentenced to death by lethal injection, though the crime he committed was never specified. Instead of dying, Cash wakes up and is told by a voice he hears that he was given a sedative instead. The voice, who refers to himself as the director, promises Cash freedom if he follows his instructions. The director, who is voiced by Brian Cox, is a former Vinewood film producer turned snuff director, and he instructs Cash to survive against countless gangs in the streets of Carson City by any means necessary, though he continuously instructs Cash to make it as gory and violent as possible. I remember really liking James Earl Cash. He had that kind of badass anti-hero thing going on, and didn't really seem to have much of a conscience, as evident by the brutal ways he kills the gangs put in front of him. Well, as it turns out, he does have a conscience. He's forced to save his family when you get up to the zoo level. Later, when you get to the mall level, it's revealed to him that his family members were actually killed anyway. He's enraged when he finds out, and he vows to get revenge on the director, who he later finds out is Lionel Starkweather. I like that about Cash, the fact that he actually had some personality behind him. As for the game itself, it was thoroughly enjoyable. Around halfway through the game though, it becomes much more difficult when the enemies are armed with guns instead of the typical weapon we found throughout the rest of the game. I really didn't like the gunplay in the game though, I can understand why it was included since the story kind of necessitated the involvement of firearms. I mean, it's a nice challenge, but I didn't buy this game expecting shootouts, I bought it for stealthy horror. This is what I call the Manhunt Syndrome. It's when a game forgets what kind of game it's supposed to be at a certain point, and becomes a totally different kind of game. A recent example of this would be the game I Am Alive back in March. If you didn't download the game, don't worry, it wasn't anything great, but that game ironically became like Manhunt late in the game, when the rest of the game is nothing like it. In fact, I felt like I was playing Manhunt rather than I Am Alive. Well anyway, I completed Manhunt and I loved the game. Then, it was announced some time later that Manhunt 2 was in development. I can't even express in words how excited I was when I heard that bit of news. 
When I read that it wouldn't be following Jim's or Cash, I was a bit disappointed, but as long as the characters in Manhunt 2 and the story were as strong as they, as they were in the first outing of the series, I let it pass. Originally set to be released in July, it was announced by Take Two that the game was suspended due to a rating rejection in the UK, Italy, and Ireland, and an adults only rating in the US. In response to this, it was announced that Rockstar censored the executions in order to obtain an M rating in the, for an October release. The rage I felt when I read that was indescribable. I mean, that would be like having a Mortal Kombat game without the fatalities. I was beyond pissed off. So, I took to YouTube and just vented. I had no script whatsoever, as you could probably tell by watching the video. I just went on and on and on and on and on, without even making really valid points. But I don't think I was trying to make the video to make valid points. I just needed a way to get this rant off my chest. And to this day, it's my most popular video, and I've always wondered why, and I think I know why now. The original Manhunt back in 2003 was a big hit. When the game was released, I don't think anybody really knew what to think about the game. After all, it didn't really have much advertising, and nobody knew a whole lot about it. But, since it had the Rockstar logo slapped on the cover, people gave it a chance. It's kind of developed a bit of a cult following. The story in the game is simple, yet complicated at the same time. Here, you've got a convict on death row who is sentenced to death only to be given a sedative because some sick, demented bastard bribed the police to sedate you instead because he needed a killer for a snuff film, and what better place to look than the convicts on death row? The gameplay was simple and easy. Killing people was simple and efficient, and a sense of accomplishment was felt every time, at least for me. Now, I don't want to sound like a mentally disturbed person or anything, okay? This is a video game. If I was watching something like this in real life, it would be a completely different story. I'm talking about strictly the game, and not as if it was happening in real life. The ability to use the simplest of weapons like plastic beds and nightsticks and see them use the way James O'Cash used them to dispose of the enemies was crazy to watch. In evading multiple enemies at one time, and then slowly but surely picking them off without even their friends noticing it was also fun. So then, when it was revealed that the executions in Manhunt 2 were being censored, the same people who enjoyed watching Cash mutilate his enemies were pissed off. How could they censor one of the things that made Manhunt such an enjoyable experience? Well, they were pretty much forced to do so in order to obtain an M rating. It was not a popular move as they faced an uproar from loyal fans of the Manhunt series, but their backs were against the wall. Once October rolled around and I saw Manhunt 2 on the store shelf, I was excited yet pissed off because I already knew it wouldn't be anywhere near as good as the first one. The story of the game goes like this. During a severe lightning storm, the security systems at the Dixer Asylum for the Criminally Insane go offline, allowing inmates Daniel Lamb and Leo Casper to escape. Daniel is disoriented and amnesic, unable to remember anything about himself. Under Leo's guidance, he makes his way back to the ruins of his old home, which is located nearby. Inside, Daniel recovers drugs which help him clear his mind and discovers hints about the details of his former life. He and Leo follow a series of clues to unravel the secrets of Daniel's past, killing anyone who interferes. Along the way, they are pursued by bounty hunters and the agents of a mysterious organization called The Project. To put it simply, the game isn't anywhere near as good as the original one. For one, the story kinda sucks. The setting isn't as menacing and the character you're assigned to is just lame. But the big thing I was looking for were the executions. Admittedly, the censoring isn't as bad as I thought it would be, since you could still see what was happening, and some of the executions are a bit more gruesome than the executions performed in the original Manhunt, but that didn't really matter, and that's because the story lacked. <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny? With the game like Manhunt, who would think about a story? It's all about the violence, right? Well, no, it's not. The violence, to me, is just the icing on the cake. The story in the original Manhunt was a lot simpler to understand, not to mention it was simply better. That's not to say Manhunt 2 isn't a good game though, because in its own way, it's decent. The enemies you face are stupider though, and aren't as funny. I remember in the original Manhunt, I loved the hoods because of all the crap they talked. It was absolutely hilarious to me. In Manhunt 2 though, you really don't get that. Most of the time, it's enemies with stupid masks and attire yelling at you like a fucking idiot. It just doesn't have that same appeal. It's playable though, I'll give it that. Over the past few years, rumors of Manhunt 3 have been firing up like crazy. 
There's a website called ProjectManhunt.com which has had interviews with Rockstar employees saying that they've been considering the possibilities of Manhunt 3 and it's something that has been discussed amongst themselves. Of course, this leads to the fans of the Manhunt series getting excited and then when nothing else about a possible third game is officially announced, they're left disappointed, myself included. The gap between the first and second Manhunt games was four years, with the first being in November of 03 and Manhunt 2 being in October of 07. It's been five years now and there's no real sign of a Manhunt 3. I've gotten this question countless times in my inbox over the years. Would I be for a third game in the series? I would be under the right circumstances. There's a few criteria that have to be met in order for there to be a Manhunt 3 for me. This is just what I want though, I'm not speaking for everybody else who's a fan of the series. Number one is a strong lead character. Take a look at James Earl Cash and then take a look at Daniel Lamb. Who seems like the stronger character? Who's more interesting? Which one has the more compelling story? The answer to all these questions is James Earl Cash. I mean, think about it. Cash is the one who was put on death row and has forced an unknown man at the time to endure arguably the most fucked up night of his life. He's forced to take part in an underground snuff film by some twisted jackass who enjoys seeing these guys he's hired being mutilated by Cash. Then look at Daniel Lamb. He's been locked up in an insane asylum and he has a split personality who guides him out of the asylum. I mean, the idea sounds good, but the execution wasn't done well enough to interest me. I want you to remove the pick. Number two is a good story. Again, take a look at the two stories from the two games. Strictly from an on-paper perspective, the first one again gets the nod. A snuff film director bribes cops to sedate a death row convict so that he can use him to make his sixth snuff film versus a man who is in an insane asylum and learns that he was part of an experiment that was designed to brainwash and manipulate the minds of whoever they decided to control. The first one sounds more interesting to me, though I'll give credit where it's due. The second one is decent enough, but for a game like Manhunt, a story like that just doesn't work. And number three is compelling supporting characters. In the original Manhunt, there was a slew of supporting characters, and almost all of them were interesting and made you care about them. Remember the confrontation between Cash and Ramirez? Remember how tense the whole level was and how satisfying it was to kill Ramirez? Remember how crazy it was finally being outside of Starkweather's mansion and how badly you wanted to get in in order to find out what this piece of shit looked like? I know I did. The characters were interesting in the first game, and they made you take notice of them. In the second game, there really wasn't the same appeal. The only semi-interesting character was Daniel Lamb, and he wasn't even that interesting. Well, I think that about covers it. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a few years now, and I finally got the opportunity to do so. That's how I feel about the Manhunt series as a whole, as well as if a third game would possibly be in the works. I want to thank all the people who have made my Manhunt 2 being scented video the success it has been, and if you're still watching this video, thank you as well for sticking around and listening to me talk this whole time. Manhunt is an interesting game series. I'd almost consider it to be an underdog. It has created a whole crapload of controversy and had to fight to be released five years ago. It's only been two games, but gamers have already grown to respect the series. Will there be a third game in the series? I say yes, there will be. When will it be? That I don't know, but I sure as hell want to find out.